Hi everyone, great news for Fast and Furious fan. I am one of them. I actually really like all of them Fast and Furious. Even I liked Fast and Furious 9. I thought this movie still it was very entertaining watch. Although all the thing, all the action scene you see on screen, you are like, what am I watching? It's not believable. And yet somehow, uh, if you like this franchise, you, know, you have to admit this last movie, even if that was also very entertaining. Obviously it was, otherwise this movie it is very like, it was once highest grossing movie during the pandemic times, you know, these movies are hit at the box office. So I am so excited for Fast and Furious 10. Now that I see they added all this, my favorite actor, especially Jason Momoa, who is my favorite Aquaman. He is part of this movie. Brie Larson, okay, very interesting casting. <laughs> I know many people will be mad at this casting, aren't they? Uh, also, today I just heard this news. They just added uh, Alan Ritson, who is recently, you have seen him on Amazon Prime. Huge hit this show, Jack Reacher. Like everybody really liked him in that show. And he once also played Aquaman in a small bit. So, you know, very interesting casting for this movie. Of course, I was watching some of the behind the scene video. Like they just showed up on my home screen. Oh man, this movie's a production, like the set pieces, and all these action set pieces, they look huge. Especially the... How much money Universal they spent for this movie is really like my head is like I'm scratching like when I see this set photo and also the one of the especially one of the scene with the Jason Momoa he's doing this stunt on his motorcycle if you have seen that it is on Twitter I cannot show you that video because it is will got copyright and anyway, check that out if you are interested to see it, it's very cool and I was watching it and I was thinking this movie is like even Fast and Furious 9, you know, all the action set pieces, they are huge. <laughs> Not any other movie you see this and all, some of these cars, they are real car when you see them crash. So, you know, it's not uh, like some of the practical set pieces they use in these movies are really like beyond my, like it's, they are so good. Uh, Obviously, these movies, they are, that is what they're famous for. Recently, of course, Justin Lin, he just left Fast and Furious 10 movie from direction because he cannot take Vin Diesel interference anymore. So he left the project and now this movie's director will be Luis Pit Litterer, I think his name, who directed Transporter. And recently, actually, this director's movie just dropped on Netflix, Take Down, if you want to check it out. I think he will do good job, Justin Lin. He he wasn't like, like he's not um, uh, James Wan, you know. He, he was doing okay job in my opinion, but like uh, I, I think it's interesting to get a brand new director. Well, I don't know how he will manage all this huge action set pieces, but it will be interesting to see. And I cannot wait to see all the, this movie. I'm very excited, honestly. And now that they added Jason Momoa, Brie Larson, I'm even more excited. And Alan Ritson, it is interesting cast also. So I have not seen his source, so I don't know how he is as an actor. But I I'm guessing he's really good probably because uh, he was like a huge hit for his show, Amazon Prime. And I was reading an article, he got three more movie deal from Amazon. So this actor, he's in demand right now. So I'm glad he got this gig also. Uh, but I imagine he has a small role in this movie, I'm thinking, or might be wrong. And that was my thought on this topic. Very exciting. And I'm, I cannot wait to see this movie. And that was my thought. Let me know in the comment, are you excited about this casting? And if you enjoyed this video, don't share my other videos. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe. Until I see you next time, please take care.